Oh, the Ferdinand de Foix Novice Chase is next in. I'm here at Oitoy and going to look at the full list of the runners shortly. Just waiting for the screen to come through. It is two mile five furlong grade one this time. And the top one is Chestnut Surprise, Paul Rhodes. Fantastic. Joshua Sutherland, Tomfield Street, Darren Thompson. Pulling your leg, Graham Clutterbuck, right on Pony, Martin Leader and Tainted Tina, Stu Gray. So just six then in a group one event and... Just one unlucky trainer won't take home any prize money from this one. They're away and racing. And sorting themselves out through the first furlong. So nothing seems all that keen to lead as they take the first of these entry star fences. And Torfian Street was the one who came out of it in front. We get a look from the not exactly packed stand. And that must be the cheap enclosures because you don't get many here. Uh, you don't get many Parisians dressed like that at the races. And I say, <laughs> just swing left handed then and go out now then with. 13 fences to take in all they've got 12 more to negotiate and pulling your leg is the leader by about four or five lengths to chestnut surprise on the outside but the rest of them are virtually in a line with right on pony just a back marker at this stage but now they are pretty much together that main group with pulling your leg well clear and doing the donkey work out in the front pulling your leg then by a good six lengths the remainder of them pretty tightly packed then as they come into the second and we'll give that plenty of air Pulling your leg well clear of the remainder as they take the third. And again, they're all over that okay. Right on pony, a little bit untidy at the back. Pulling your leg, undisputed lead. Awful tower in the distance. Over that little pathway they go. And pulling your legs in front. Then tainted tinners move through the second as they take that big looking ditch. And all safely over that one with pulling your leg clear. The rest of them jock in for position. The order changing. Very regularly, with the exception of Ride on Pony, who are now on the back of on Jockey Camp, who's the back market. And this bizarre track where they run around the outside of the course. So if you're on the rail, you're actually giving ground away, which is a little odd. But uh, a bit wouldn't be any fun if it was all the same everywhere, would it? Anyway, and you can see that Ride on Pony is hugging that rail and giving away ground. So coming down towards the next end, looks like we're going to stay on Ride on Pony to jump this one. Pony jumped it well and got ahead of Torfian Street. And we're now back to a more sensible view. And pulling your legs in the lead then from Tainted Tina second. Fantastic is third. They are now in some sort of proper race in order to take this one on the downhill. And over that one they go with pulling your leg in front. Tainted Tina second. Fantastic. Just going up on the outside of that one. Then ride on Pony and Chestnut Surprise with Torfian Street. Just got them all in sight from the back. But no more than a half a dozen lengths off the lead probably as they take the seventh and all over that one okay and make their way up towards the straight and we come past the assembled race guys past the big screen and we pass in the winning post shortly there you go and off now on one more complete circuit of the track and pulling your leg I hope to still be in the lead next time Torfian Street is the one that's moving backwards and forward through the field with considerable alacrity he's been right up the front he's been right up the back I haven't quite managed to get into the lead yet but pulling your leg has dominated that particular position for the entire race so far and fantastic and tainted Tina a second and third then Torfield Street on the outside of Chestnut Surprise and ride on Pony is the one that spent most of his time in rear as they take the eighth and they're all over that one okay and they're pretty tightly packed and now we've got a new leader tainted leader tainted Tina's gone on and takes the ninth in front. Mistake there by Chestnut Surprise. I've seen that one shuffle to the back and right on Pony has now moved around the outside. So they're beginning to race now then. A little over six furlongs to go and Tainted Tina is in the lead. Right on Pony is second as they take the tenth. Torfin Street jump that one and now goes up to dispute the lead. Then Chestnut Surprise has recovered from that mistake. Pulling your leg seems to have done his work already and has now dropped to the back. Fantastic is still there. But it's Tainted Tina in front then. And inside the final five furlongs now and swinging for home and right on Pony on the outside is really on the inside and he's getting the best of that turn. And the tainted Tina, Torfin Street, right on Pony, then Chester Surprise and Fantastic pulling a leg, trying to get back into it, jockey hard at work on that one as they swing for home now then. And they've only got three more fences to take and it's Torfin Street in the lead now from Tainted Tina as they come down to this third last. Over that one, they have a great jump by Tainted Tina's now got a length clear. Right on Pony, the challenger on the outside, Torfin Street on the inside. These three have gone clear of Chestnut Surprise back in fourth, and it's Tainted Tina in the lead then from Ride on Pony and Torfian Street as they race down towards the second last, and it's Tainted Tina.
Tintino lands in front right on pony jumps it away in second so did Torfin Street in third forget the rest it's Tony Tintino in the lead from Torfin Street and right on pony it's a three way go now coming down towards the final fence in this grade one chase and it's Tainted Tina from Torfin Street and right on pony over the last they go Tainted Tina jumps in better gets away from it well it's Tainted Tina in the lead from Torfin Street and right on pony well inside the final foot on this is going to be a grade one win for Stu Gray Tainted Tina races up towards the line and Tainted Tina wins it Tainted Tina's winner right on pony second Torfin Street third fantastic was next just not surprised after that pulling a leg a long time later was last but Stu Gray wins a grade one on week 13 there you go, he won't be moaning about that one. Tainted Tina takes it. Right on Pony 4, Martin Leedon was second. Torfin Street 4, Darren Thompson was third. Fantastic, Joshua Sutherland fourth. Chestnut Surprise, Paul Rhodes fifth. And now it's over to the Grade 1 winning trainer, Stu Gray, who's going to commentate on the next race for you.